Hey, you are welcome to Seven Digital Marketing Training. This time around, we are doing a lesson on programming. Which of programming HTML. Today, we want to start HTML introduction for beginners. So to kick start, without wasting time, come over to your browser, right click, right click on your browser, to refresh it. When you refresh it, right click again, and then open a new open a folder in a new your new folder and that folder will call it you can call it anything you want to call it but i will call my own seven website okay seven site seven team let me use seven teams seven teams i want to use this to teach i can work on html remember i've given you a video on visual studio code vs code is here vs code that that video please check my youtube channel down and you see the vs code tutorial on how to install vs code now how to work with vs code we are we are working with html using vs code as code editor okay so if you have any best code editor of your choice go ahead and use it that's the best but as for me i'm going to use visual studio code now remember like i said it's not compulsory there are so many code editor edits you can use but if you want to follow my own pattern you want to use vs code be good and better, fine, because if you use VS Code, you can be able to follow me up completely. So that we sit down so much ado, we save it as seven teams. This is the folder I'm talking about seven teams. So this folder, what we do now is come to VS Code. This is VS Code. So click on your VS Code and you can press enter to open your VS Code. Once VS Code is opened, before we can go ahead and work with VS Code, there are some things I want us to do. We want us to do some installation, okay, on VS Code. So <coughs> Anyway, let me just go to the folder. From VS Code, go to File, look at File. From VS Code, go to File, from File, scroll down to Open Folder. Click on Open Folder. Click on Open Folder. Look for that folder you saved. I save mine as seven teams. I don't know what you use to save your own. Whatever you use, you can use your website, my amazing website, my HTML tutorial, anything you like, use, okay? So click on it once, then Go down and click on select folder. Or you can click it twice or click on select folder. Anyone anyway, just make sure that the folder is open on your VS Code. And this is how it is. It's open now on my VS Code. We ask you, do you trust this folder? Simply say yes, I trust the author, I trust the folder, and enable all features. So click on it. So it will open. Now that it's at, it has opened, let's do some work. I want us to install some things. The first thing we install on our VS Code is called Prettier. Prettier. Don't look for Prettier. Prettier. Here. We need it because we're gonna use it for our work. So I can use it to speed some things up right now. Okay. So our VS Code will run smoothly. In case we didn't from me, let me show you how to install Prettier. To install Prettier, go to your extension panel. This is the extension panel. You see it? Click on it, extension panel. It will open. You come over here, type Prettier. P R E T T E E R. P T P R E sorry. P T I E R. Okay. When you want not to come up, click on it. You see it prettier? How many people have installed it? So about 25 million installations. We show that Prettier is a very good installation package. It will help your extension very well because you have to be able to code your, your coding to be pretty. Okay. That's how we call it prettier. So just install it right away. Click on install. And as soon as you have finished installing prettier, you still go back up here. You see the small search button? Still go back to the search button. We want to install right this time around is live server. Okay, live server, L-I-V-E, then server. Now the work of live server is very simple. This live server will help me show that as we're working, you can easily be viewing what you're working. You see it's a live server, you know, it's all like a server to show you what you're working, okay? So that is the work. So go ahead, click on it, and install as well. Okay, and if you check live server, it has a lot of installations. See, it's almost 26 million as well, you see it? So it's very good, the station is very good as I many people are installing it. Go ahead, install it too, and once you're done, Come over, let's continue the coding class, okay? So you as we install this tool first. Before we commence, I want to also discuss some few concepts. Firstly, go to your seven team. As usual, you know, you know I've got this from your file. You click on for open folder. From folder, you any file you use to save, click on the file and to open to this page. I hope you still remember what we did because as I took you to Peter and the rest of them, don't get confused. It's still the same method. Then you click on your files, on your file, you go to open folder, 
open folder what do you do you choose seven tips or anything that anything you use to save on your folder then you click select folder that's what we did and it appear here okay now that it appear here there's something you need to do now i want to save you bring your mouse down to this plus the first plus the first plus new file click on new file click on it let's before i explain new file and here save it as index.html index.html don't forget index.html you know why i said that index.html because this is your root geometry for example if you go to a website www.seven.com which is my own website you find that if you want to carry what you work here as on your html to do that website it in there's a little is your home page so that's how it will open there as your home page if you don't read if you don't put in there's a the browser will not recognize that this is an html work and like we said what is html html is hypertext markup language this is the building block of every website every website you can think of is built with html it shows the layer it shows the form it shows what the website is all about okay when you talk about styling, you go to CSS. You talk about action, like if you want the, your website to operate on something like somebody free from a submit, you go to JavaScript or PHP or Python. Okay. But HTML is your building block. And that's why, as a web developer, as a software engineer, the first thing to learn first is your HTML. Once you learn HTML, you can start other coding. Okay. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that you can't learn others. It depends on you. But Personally, what I believe, what I, what I was taught is I first learned HTML as a website developer, okay? Because HTML is the building block of the website. So having said that, when you click on HTML, it will open the one here and you see it all open. Sometimes it's shaking like this. Yes, right there. What you need to do is press your shift key. Shift and press tab, okay? When, shift, when you press shift and press tab, it will open this two line. Don't go to the second one. Click the first one, like this. What do you see that happen? You just open up a page and in this page i want to explain the page one after the other so be patient with me this is the beginning you need to get it if you get the beginning where every other thing will flow okay but when you make a mistake at the beginning start asking yourself how do i get this how do i get that and then it'll be a problem for you okay so it will be any problem anyway because i'm here to explain i explain to you for you you find that the first thing that we type do we are not going to type it but that is the first thing to type is doc type this doc type HTML simply means document type. You are telling your browser that you want to start a code language. Then what language are you going to code now? Is HTML language. So the document type, type of document you want to type, you want to write now is HTML. That's not doc type HTML. That's the first thing instruction that you give. Remember, we are just like computer programming, just like a command. You are telling the computer what to do. That's why we have the word garbage in, garbage out. Computer on its own doesn't know anything. It doesn't know what to do. But whatever it tells him to do is what he will do. So now you want to command the computer. You want to tell the computer what to do. And now what you want to do? You want to type. You want to code. What code are you coding? HTML code. So this doc type that you are, what you want to type is HTML document. Okay. Now let's go to the second one. HTML L A N G land equals to E N as so as so. This HTML stands for that same word HTML. You want to tell the HTML the type of language you are using. You know, we have so many languages in the world. Though, so like we said, the language of computer is coding or programming. That's the language of computer. But you can also type this language using your own country word. For example, but majorly we want to use English. That's why you see HTML language type is what English. Then what is this as? You know, see what I'm talking? See my mouse? That is the uh, shift and the less than sign when you press shift and less than sign you get that you get that this test type is also here in the, the before the doc type before the exclamation mark you see it you see the less than arrow b yes just press shift and press your less than the arrow will appear now what is that less than as and what is it? you also see that ended this one here this one will start here ended this one here yes less than arrow and end with greater than arrow yeah those are just what we call syntax these are things you use. These are the syntax that the HTML document use. When you're typing on HTML, you use that to open. Just like you are opening and you're closing a file. So you use less than to open 
and use greater than to close that one that you press open. Then the closing tag, because each of the tag, you know, opening tag will start with less than and end with greater than. Then the closing tag will now is this. We are going to, we are going there when we get our screen, but let me just use it to explain it. So you open HTML document, right? HTML document, and it's in the English. Now you come down here, straight down, at the end of it all, see the closing tag. You are putting the HTML document. So to close it, what do you do? You type your shift key, less than, then put a stroke. Put a stroke, then write HTML, then you now put greater than sign. That is this, this is the less than, this is the stroke, fast forward stroke, then this is the greater than sign. Are you seeing where my mouse is pointing? Okay, so that shows that you close the document. Now, from this HTML doc, doc type HTML, straight down to this HTML language English, you open it and it will end in HTML greater than. So that shows that everything we are typing here, all our code, all our, anything you want to learn should be under this space. You can't come down here and start typing. No. You're like, for example, here, now let me bring my mouse down. You now come here and start typing at this number 40. No. Because you're already outside your HTML. So please don't forget this. Don't worry, I'll still come back to it. I'll explain to it very well. But for now, just get it like this, okay? That is opening, there's a closing tag. Though some tags are self closing, but for this case, for most of them, you have opening tag or closing tag, okay? Now let's go to the next one meta chasset. This is meta chasset, your meta, meta. When you open, you write meta chasset is equals to UTF minus A, and you close it. Don't also forget this sign. You see that this equals to then up. You see your your sign up UTF minus eight. You see another sign again, and you close it down. All these are instructions. These are coding. These are the way you put the tagging. You call it tagging in such a way that the centers, the computer will understand what you are saying. Okay, are you getting me? This meta is just like description. You are trying to describe something. What do you want to describe? We we'll explain it. You want to describe. Sorry, to explain myself well, let me take you out of a VS Code. So I understand what I mean by opening tag and closing tag. Let me take you to Notepad Plus Plus, okay? Notepad Plus Plus. Just click on Notepad, you have any Notepad Plus Plus or any other that. I know I told, you, I told you that you can use HTML, different uh, edit to you, edit your HTML. So anytime, let's use Notepad. So what we do, see me, watch me. The first thing to do, you want to tell your document that you want to type on HTML. The doc type is what HTML. So what do you do? You go down your shift key. I'm holding my shift key down. Are you holding your shift key? Hold your shift key. Then press less than sign. Do you see less than sign showing? Yes. See it here. See it. Do you see it showing? Then after that, hold down your, your shift key again and press exclamation, which is number one. One exclamation mark. Then after that, you now type doc type HTML. Don't forget to put the doc type as HTML. Okay. Doc type DOC doc. Then type. If you don't type, say YP. Okay. I use capital letter for that. Any letter you is okay. Put a space HTML. HTML. Did this one I type it? Then hold your shift key again and type your less than again. Yeah, greater than now. Hold your shift key, type your greater than. This is sign of greater than. You see it? You get my point? So this is what is there. You know, the other place is the thing the itself. As I want to do with my own hands, I understand what I'm talking about. So I will go back to VS Code, you understand it very well. Then press enter. Are you pressing enter right now? Open another, hold your shift key again. Open, uh, press greater, less than again, less than. Shift key, less than. Then you type, we want to talk about the language now, HTML. 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 Okay? What do you do? Hold your shift key again, press greater than. Now, what have we just done? We told the system what to do doc type is the document, the type of document we're going to type is HTML. Then the next one now, we want to open the HTML now. That's why you repeat HTML only. You know, you are opening it. Now that you open HTML, what do you do? You close it. Remember, for every opening tag, there must be a closing tag. Though some are self closing, and when we get there, we explain that. So, how do you close it? You come over, do the same thing. This time around, still go to that same doc type. Then if you want to close what we just type, you you press down, press your enter key. If you don't want to enter, you can use done. The same thing. I want to do the closing tag. How do you get the closing tag? Hold on your shift key once again, press on less than. Then 
What did I shift key again? Press forward slash. Forward, no, not the open to shift key, sorry. Just press forward slash, okay? Forward slash. Do you see what I'm doing? See the arrow, this is forward slash. You press for you hold your shift key and press less than. Then you hold forward slash. Then you retype the HTML. 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 You retype it. Then you now hold down your shift key and press greater than. This is a closing type, okay? Now, understand one thing. I feel that everything you want to write should be under this HTML. The opening this is the opening HTML. This is the closing HTML. So every that you want to write should be under it. All your website you want to do should be under it. You can't come over now outside it. Let's see outside now. For example, where I click now, you press enter. Number five is outside it. You can't type anything outside it because it won't go. So it must be under it. Between the HTML opening, this is the opening, less than and you go greater than open. Then this is the closing, less than, four slash, HTML, greater than open. I'm sorry, I'm taking your time explaining this because I want to get this. Once you get this, you get everything. So after this, this is the HTML file that I want to write. The next thing to write is the head. Remember, we have meta tag. I will say meta tag is already written there on VS Code. So you don't mean writing all those things again here. I just I want to, I want to get the detail, the meat, so you understand what coding is all about. Very simple, very sweet. And if you love it, if you love coding, you go for it. Then from start, what you do, okay? Now, press enter key. The next thing to go is your head. After your HTML folder has been opened, the first thing to do is your head, your heading. Head stands for everything that goes to there, like meta tag and just they go to the head. Then after that, the next one should be body. So let's go to the head tag. How do you get how do you do your head tag? Same method. Hold on your shift key, press legs down. And what do you do? You type head. Head. Okay. Then hold your shift key again, press greater than. Then enter. Hold your shift key again, press less. I want to close the head. Now we are closing the head. Okay. Then you press forward slash. Once you this is the sign for closing. Don't forget it. This is sign for closing. Less than forward slash. Then you type head again. Then you put your, your greater than. That means you close the head. You close the head. Okay, you close the head. Remember, the head is under Haiti and head. And under Haiti, you have head and body. So, next to open is the body, the body tag. How do you put the body tag? The same method. Hold your shift key, press legs down. Then you write your body, write your body, then press greater than. Then come down, hold down your shift key, press legs down. Remember your four slash. Then write the body back again. Write the body back again. Then hold down your shift key, press greater than. You get it? So this is the body. We have now opened our head and closed our body. Now, everything you write that people will see is under the body. Don't forget. All that you write that people will see is under the body. Why the one that is under the head, I don't know not like your title, your website title, your meta tags. I will see meta tags for you, so don't worry about that. Your meta tags, meta description, meta this, meta that, and your language, and the rest of them is under the head. Even if you are working with CSS, working with JavaScript, all those skills, most of them can come on the head or can come on the body. But when we get there, we we'll get to the bridge, we we'll cross over. So now I've taught you what is important, and that is opening tag, closing tag. HTML opening tag, HTML closing tag. Head opening tag, head closing tag. Body opening tag, body closing tag. With this, let's go back to VSC and put our lesson there. Hope you are learning something. Please, I want you to learn. I want you to learn. So now I want to explain all this meta tag and the rest of them are there. You pick up and continue. Okay. Thank you for listening to me. You are going to learn. Definitely will get something. Okay. Welcome back to CLVS Code right now. You notice something I want to talk to you about indent. Don't forget the terminology indent. What is indent? If you check here, you see that doc type is HTML. You see our less than is the same line. The same line with HTML language, the same line, the same line with head, the same line with the another head, the same line with body, the same line with body, and the same line with the line head closing tag of HTML. But what about the head? Under the head, you see meta tag. You see that there's a space between the head straight to meta tag. What are we doing? We are indenting it. This is what we call indentation, okay? We are indenting it. So this to show that this meta head and the rest of them are under the head. You have to push it to the right. So what I'm trying to just like, let me use a family relationship to explain this. Like you have a father, you have a mother, then you have your children, then your child now has a child. So it's just like that kind of relationship. So people, for people to know that this one is older than this, this one is under, this one comes within this purple or family, you have to indent 
you have to say big grandfather, father, mother, children. Okay, so here, what is different is our father now and our mother. Can you pinpoint it? Of course, you can. Yeah, you can. Dog type, HTML, head, body, head, closing head, body, body, and closing gender. These are the father, right? But among these fathers, the main father, our major father is dog type, HTML, that is the grandfather right now. Then why HTML, which is you know, I use as language, which is English, HTML language, it now becomes the father of both head and body. See, head and body are in the same line, straight line with head. So they are father, all of them who they are father, HTML. That's why HTML has to close it as the father. At the end of the day, it's HTML corner to close as the father. They are on the same identity, on the same line. Okay. Then what about the grandchild now this time around? Head as a son. Or children. Who are the children? Meta, 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 and typo. These are the children. And you see, they are on that head. And later, it also ended with head when you close the head. Are you getting it? We will not type it on the body. We will so we'll work on the body, me and you. So that's why I'm leaving the body. But same thing, remember, you dirt your work. When you dirt your work, make it neat, make it clean, make it very okay. Are you getting it? So coding is very simple, programming is very simple, but it requires a lot of tasking. You want to have your brain there, settle your brain down. You can actually run a programming language. If you take computer what you'll do, computer will do it for you. Okay. Hope you are getting it. If you have any any question, feel free to ask. You can go down for my YouTube channel, go down, type your question there, or even go to WhatsApp me or send me anywhere or go to my website. Anywhere you can, you can easily get me, okay? Ask your question, bring suggestion, bring ideas. We are here to learn. That is just it. We are here to learn. Okay. Now, let's test a few questions on, on the what I just told you now, what you call generation syntax, okay? If I may ask you now, let me say, who is the son of HTML here? Who, are, who is the son? He has two sons. Who are, who are they? Can you point it out? Of course, yes. The head and the body are the sons of HTML. They are different. Their father is HTML, while their son is head and body. Now, now I ask you again, who is the head? Who is the son of the head? Which now be a kind of grandson to HTML language. You say yes, meta tasset UTF minus eight, meta TP uh, underscore equal equals to US, this, 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 and meta name viewport content width and device width initial case equals to my 1.0, and title document title. These are the son of head, which is also a grandson to HTML. Now, talking about the body, you can also get a grandson for body. Let me just write something to show you a grandson for body. Let me read the word P. This P stands for paragraph. Don't worry about that. I will explain it when we get there. This P, we can write in it on the on the paragraph. Maybe, hey, I'm your child. Hey, I am your child. Yeah. So you can see type more, more, more. So all of them are, these are the son of who? Son of the body. And this is also son of, we can start another one. Maybe heading. Let's do heading. Page one. Page one. Page one. Page one. Yeah. So another son. Another son. Yeah, another son. Another son of who? Son of the body. Are you getting generation symptoms? Son of the body. So what do we now say? This son of body and son of head, they are like siblings, right? Siblings to body and head, right? Why the body and the head are siblings together? Because their father is what? HTML. Are you getting it? So these questions might be asked you for theory and you'll be able to trash it out and you get your answer, right? If you need more questions, feel free to ask. With this, Let's continue wrapping up this so we can go to the next stage, okay? Yes, no time. Okay. Let's start wrap it up. Let not what I want to talk to, you, talk to you about again is content. What well, sometimes we hear the word content. What do we mean by content? If you check very well, here the HTML has is contain some things, container. Okay. What is contain? If I had all these other tasks are under HTML, I start as a container to them. And sometimes too. Let's come down a particular container may be inside the another container. For example, like this title. This is the title, this document. Let's remove this document and officially give our website a name. We're trying to build a website. And then with this, we are going to learn at the end of this program, you see a website, then of this HTML, this HTML to build a website. Okay. So I will say my website name as Seven Website. You can type anyone you like on that title, Seven Website. Seven website. Seven website so once that's even website now this even website is under a container what container is what is under now title and remember your open tag is there opening tag open tag for title your first less than the right title general greater than closing seven website now have your closing tag 
your your first shift key and uh, uh, what do I call it? Less than, okay? And you put your stra your slash and then title and then greater than, closing tag. Now this is a complete tag that contains what? Seven websites. Now let's do something. Let's see for what we could write in a code now. Just click on save. To click on save, you can simply click control S, okay, to save. And then after saving it, bring your mouse to index.html. Index.html, right click. Right click, you see, open with live server. You know, I told you at the beginning that you should install live server. So that is work of live server. Click on open with live server and let's see what is there. If you open now, do you see it? Instead of opening as doc, maybe you see seven website. Seven website. Seven website. In this under what under in this dot html so you see the work of a live server it's help you to see your work as you are typing you are seeing it don't worry the thing is on title page you can't see it on the our body is still completely blank don't worry we're going to put something here you could tell computer to put something and computer put something here for you okay because we're going to talk about telling computer what to do giving your computer the language that you understand and you to execute whatever you want him to execute for you okay so don't worry about that we are here together so believing you've learned something, let us now see you in the next page. Thank you so much for staying with Steven.